Hello. Well, it's Friday. It's the first Friday of the month. It's the first Friday of the year. And it's live from lockdown yet again. Here we are. Thanks for tuning in. Nice to have you with me. Some of you already. Welcome to live from lockdown number 75, if you can believe it. <clears throat> and as usual, I'm going to begin by acknowledging the land on which I sit. This is the traditional territory of the Wendat and Anishinaabek nations, uh, as well as that of the people of the Haudenosaunee Confederacy, the Mississaugas of the New Credit, and the Métis Nation. And those First Nations have been here and kept this land and these waters uh, sacred and whole since time immemorial. And it's only through their ongoing generosity and welcome that people like me are able to be here. And that makes me a lucky man. And I want to thank them. And I want to offer an hour or so of words and music in the spirit of justice and reconciliation. I hope you'll join me in that. Thanks for sitting in. Uh, that was a tune called Calling You, as you probably know off the top. Uh, you know, it's funny, I was thinking about what to play this week, and I thought, oh, there's a tune I haven't played. Ha. And then I went back and looked. Well, in fact, I did play it for you once before. In May of 2020, I didn't even remember that I'd played it. So maybe I've been doing this for too long. Maybe we've all been stuck in lockdown for too long. Ain't that the truth. Uh, anyway, Calling You is from the film Baghdad Cafe, uh, written by Bob Telson. I had to write that down because I never remember. Um, and Bob, both Bob Telson's recording and Jafetta Steele's recording appear in the soundtrack of the film, which was, uh, and that song was nominated uh, for an Academy Award in the Best Original Song category. I don't believe it won. I think it got a nomination. Um, that particular version, I... Well, it's mine, but I lifted it uh, from a live recording of a really great and very well-known jazz singer from Canada by the name of Holly Cole. She released a live recording of that at, from the Montreal Jazz Festival a number of years ago, and I got a hold of that and learned it, so that's where it's from. Hope you liked it. Again, thanks for tuning in. Uh, make sure all my pedals are in order. There. That one looks all right. I just checked this guitar, but it's probably out of tune. So, you know, as usual, a few repeats, uh, maybe a new tune or two. Here's one other one that I have played for you a few times. This is kind of the, t the quintessential lockdown tune, and I hate that I keep playing it, but it keeps fitting in, and ain't it again fitting in, thanks to Omicron. This is a very well-known standard uh, by Duke Ellington in the key of G. If you want to uh, play along, I wish it wasn't so apt for these times. This is called Don't Get Around Much Anymore. Thank you. 
don't get around much anymore. Never truer than this week yet again. Stuck at home, hide note from Omicron. That's what I've been doing this week. Hope you're having fun. Anyway, a bit of Duke Ellington. Thanks for uh, joining me in that. Uh, you know, another one of my repetitions, as I say every week and every month and every time I do this, uh, I'm really happy you're here and I hope you stick around and enjoy some music. If you're able to make a contribution to help support live music, it's sure appreciated because, you know, I had a few gigs and they all got cancelled again, or pretty much all of them got cancelled again. I did end up doing uh, one gig last week that I probably shouldn't have, but it was a little too late to get out of. But um, it's not a lot of work in the live music business. So if you're able to make a donation, it's really appreciated. Again, lots of you have been really fabulous and very regular supporters for a long time, and it means a lot. But um, check the links on the side of the Facebook page or on YouTube underneath. You'll see a link to my PayPal account if you're in Canada and you do e-transfers. My email address is right here on the bottom of the screen and also in those notes, and it's appreciated. But as I say, no pressure. Mostly stick around and enjoy some music. Uh, I'm going to play this guitar again. I'm going to play a tune that I've played for you before again. In fact, I, I'm not sure that I played anything as much as this next tune. Uh, and maybe you're getting sick of it, but it's a tune I really like. It's the right combination of fun and challenging, uh, sort of in the right balance. And um, as Omicron continues to grind us down, it, uh, it feels like something that we all need a little more of. This is a tune by um, Jerry Nywood, arranged by my... Uh, fabulous former guitar teacher and very good friend Roddy Elias in Ottawa and this is called Joy which I thought I'd play because I don't know about you but I'm finding it hard to find joy sometimes these days uh, and I wish more of it for all of you here you go <laughs>
keep playing it, I'll get it right one of these days. There's, uh, there's Jerry Nywood's joy. I hope you find a bit of joy in these early, locked in, cold days of early January. Uh, switch it up. I thought I'd give you Yippers folks a little treat off the top and play a little bit of the Calling You melody on my mandolin, but I'll, uh, I'll play a full mandolin piece. Now, trying to keep with my pattern on this show, working on, here's a tune I've work, been working on for a few weeks. Uh, again, working through that amazing collection of tunes that Stuart Seidel has sent me, my friend Stuart from the West Coast. He, that guy's amazing. He emails something about music just every day or two. There's always things he's listening to and thinking about. He's a great uh, resource to have on one's, uh, one's friend's circle and email list. So he sent me a chart of quite a while ago for this piece called Azalea Waltz. Um, and I, I had a look at it, I was kind of intrigued, it seemed kind of fun. The first page looked fairly manageable in the key of A, not a bad mandolin key. Um, but it's got a wacky C section. Um, most of you probably know this, but musicians sometimes talk about different parts of mu music by letters. So there's an A section and a B section you might think of as the verse and the chorus. And a lot of tunes in our culture follow the format A-A-B-A, -A -A, not unlike a sonato allegro form of, an, of a symphony, actually. Uh, you do a first section, you do a next section, perhaps with some elaboration and some changes, and then you do a bridge or a chorus or something else, and you come back to the first section again. So Azalea Waltz does that, fine. Then the key of A, the bridge goes to the key, air, key area of the four, and then the dominant two, pretty common move. And then in the bridge or the C section, it completely changes key. It goes to the key of C major, and then to the key of B, f no, and then to the key of F major. Uh, and then kind of back to C and then modulates back to A. It's really quite intriguing and it was further intriguing because the chart that Stuart sent me had a couple of mistakes. But I took them as correct and I learned it and I thought, wow, this is weird. I don't really know how people approach this part of the tune. So I finally went and looked up some recordings and discovered that in fact it wasn't quite as weird as the chart had suggested. There were a few uh, errors in the chart so we worked those out. My um, my current mandolin heartthrob, a fantastic mandolinist by the name of Sierra Hull uh, from the United States, a, a great bluegrass player. She's just a remarkable mandolin player. Um, she talked about this as one of her favorite tunes, a tune she learned when she was nine years old or something like that. But I listened to her play it and realized that the bridge, still wacky, but not quite as wacky as the first chart had suggested. So Louise, if you're playing along, I'm in the key of A, uh, C and F in the bridge. Hope you can find your way through it. This is my version of Azalea Waltz. <laughs>
third part. That's what I get for talking about that crazy uh, bridge section. You know, I, I must have played that a half a dozen times in the last day and a half. And every time I got the beginning of it right until I did it for you. There it is. <laughs> anyway, the Azalea Waltz. Thank you. Thanks to all you mandolin fans. Thanks for your support. I'll keep... Uh, I'll keep practicing, I promise. <clears throat> Speaking of practicing, you know, I'm still doing some teaching. Uh, of course, although that's back online, I was doing some in-person teaching, and uh, that seems to have gone the way of lots of fun things in the current state of affairs. So, uh, but if you're looking for a guitar lesson or a mandolin lesson or want to learn a bit about music theory, hit me up. Again, I'm easy to get. Phone and email along the bottom of the screen there. Uh, send me a message on Facebook, knock on the door. I'd, uh, uh, no commitments. I'd love to uh, love to give you a lesson or two if you're interested. Thanks to those people who are doing that. It's another kind of work that those of us who are out of a lot of work can keep doing. Uh, what am I going to do next? Oh, yeah. It's coming up. Nice. Hopefully nice. Um, some happy birthday wishes, as I try to have for you every time I do this. Uh, today... No, yesterday was my very good friend Chris Wilson's birthday. Chris is a saxophonist and keyboard player and musicologist. He's actually got a PhD in musicology from the University of Toronto. And he leads a great uh, ska reggae band called the Liquid Airs that I have the privilege of playing in. We were actually going to play last night or tonight. We were going to do a special uh, gig for the holiday season and for his birthday. 
But needless to say, there ain't no live music happening in bars at the moment, so there was no Liquid Airs gig, which is too bad. But Chris, happy birthday. Uh, very good friend Liz Creel. I don't know about you, but I've had several conversations with people recently about the number of folks in our immediate circles who are COVID positive way more than has happened since the beginning of the pandemic. I know more and more people who've gotten sick. And my good friend Liz Creel got, uh, it was t tested positive for COVID last week and was down for a couple of days here not too badly. And I believe she tested uh, negative yesterday morning. So let's hope she's feeling better. And a special shout out also to Ian Mulvihill uh, in Edinburgh, whose birthday is next week, and who I know is not listening because he's not a Facebook guy, but uh, he's uh, he's going to do me a big favor next week, and uh, I want to thank him and wish him a very happy birthday. So, and to all of you, I'm forgetting, uh, happy birthday to you too. Uh, this is a tune next, um, a long time request. Uh, that I've been avoiding and I finally got around to trying. Um, it's another Paul Simon tune. So first and foremost, of course, it's dedicated to my sister Bronwyn, who's always looking for Paul Simon. Um, but also, and most particularly, for Janet Lachlan, my very favorite Canadian living in Edinburgh. Uh, Janet's a good friend and a, a very patient woman. She asked me to do this tune a long, long time ago, and I finally got around to listening to it. It wasn't a Paul Simon tune that I was at all familiar with. It's called Mother and Child Reunion. And I thought I would dig it out because it seemed appropriate uh, this week to do it. Uh, last time I did a show about a week and a half ago, I told you that my mom has been visiting. My mom is here in Toronto from Vancouver and it's been great to have her um, seeing me and my sister and our children, her, her kids and grandchildren. So there's a big mother and child reunion going on, which, uh, which has been great. Um, so the, the title seemed to be apt. Uh, but I listened to the tune and I listened to the lyric and I didn't really understand it, so I did a bit of reading about where it comes from. It's kind of funny. Um, it's actually a bit of a sad song. It's not a happy mother and child reunion like you would expect, so I'm going to frame it in a happy mode, even though Paul Simon wrote it. Um, actually, I think after the death of his dog, um, it kind of some sad event triggered this song and I don't really understand how it came together. And he got the name of the song, the lyric, the, the title of the song, from uh, an item on the menu of a Chinese restaurant in his neighborhood. It was a chicken and egg dish, hence mother and child reunion. So how about that for a mixed up, uh, mixed up story? And just to add some uh, uh, some further wackiness to it, he um, he recorded. He wanted to record it as a reggae tune, so he went to Kingston, Jamaica, and. Um, recorded this with Jimmy Cliff's band, uh, some musicians who are also in Toots and the Maytals. Uh, so it's actually a pretty cool groove on it, which I will do my best to replicate um, for you here. Janet, this is for you in the key of D. If you're, oh, sorry, a little problem there. There we go. If you're playing along in the key of D. Uh, Paul Simon's Mother and Child Reunion. No, I would not give you false hope On this strange and mournful day but the mother and child reunion is only emotion away. Oh, little darling of mine, I can't for the life of me remember a Saturday. I know they say let it be. It just don't work out that way In the course of a lifetime runs Over and over again No, I would not give you false hope On this strange and mournful day But the mother and child reunion Is only emotional Little daughter of mine, I 
just can't believe it's so Though it seems strange to say I've never been laid so low In such a mysterious way In the course of a lifetime runs Over and over again No, I would not give you false hope On the strange and mournful day Of the mother and child reunion It's only emotion No, I would not give you false hope On this strange and mournful day But the mother and child reunion Is only emotion There you go, Janet, at long last, my version of Paul Simon's Mother and Child Reunion. Hope that was okay for you. I'm really hoping to see Janet sometime really soon. Uh, let's hope I get to. All right, a little message to go with the next song. I'm gonna play an original tune, and before I uh, get into my story about it, I'm gonna say that I, I'm, f I'm actually not sure if it's Bandcamp Friday today. Um, Bandcamp Friday, as you know, Bandcamp, great place to buy independent music. If you're looking to buy some music downloads or physical CDs, please go to Bandcamp before you go to Spotify or Apple Music. Bandcamp's way, not gonna cost you anymore, but your money's gonna go to the people who are making the music instead of to the executives in the fancy offices in California. Um, and Bandcamp, over the last year and a half, every first Friday of the month, has been cutting even the small portion that they take out of record sales and sending all of it to the artist. Um, it's a great day any day to buy music on Bandcamp. It's a particularly good time when it's Bandcamp Friday. I don't know if they're continuing that tradition and I checked online and I wasn't able to tell yet. But anyway, if you want to buy a record, I think I've got this one right here. Here's one of my records. This is called Share the Wealth and I'm going to play you uh, the title track off this record. So uh, yeah, and most of you who are listening have already bought that recording, so thank you very much. Um, but, you know, it's another one of the titles, another one of those statements or thoughts that just seems particularly relevant uh, these days. So that's what made me decide to bring this tune out of, the, uh, out of the closet again. I spent a lot of my time in my life as a political activist working within the anti-poverty movement. And one of the things I learned pretty early in, in learning about those issues is that there's really uh, not any mystery that there's so much poverty in much of the Western world. Um, and you figure that out by seeing how much obscene and growing wealth there is. Um, it's not a mystery. There's enough resources and enough wealth to go around and keep everyone uh, comfortable if we shared it, but we don't. Uh, I read an uh, interesting analysis of um, income over the last year, 2021, uh, and in the USA, I think CEO income averaged 300 times the typical worker income. Uh, and the more I understand the situation, the, the more I would venture to say that the problem in our economy is not so much poverty, but the distribution of wealth. Uh, that's what we need to work on. There's enough wealth, I'll say it again, there's enough to go around. All we need to do is learn to share it, learn to share the wealth a little bit more, as that record and this, uh, this tune say. And as we move into 22, and as uh, many of us bemoan the failure to build a more just recovery, as it looks, let's keep trying, let's not give up on it, but we're not doing a good job so far. But I'll share with you again the priorities for me. Justice, truth, and reconciliation for the Aboriginal peoples of the planet, particularly here in Canada, because that's where I am at the moment. We have to acknowledge that there's a climate crisis and we've got to take some bold action now on that. 
and we need to share the wealth. This is my composition, Share the Wealth. Needs a little loop I'm going to set up first, uh, and then I'll play you the melody. Hope you like it. Share the wealth. Share the wealth. Take that, take that one to the bank, or put that in your pipe and smoke it, or something. I don't know the right analogy, but uh, thanks for listening. a lot of strings in that one it throws them out of tune sorry about that I'm gonna do one more uh, one more piece for you and call this one a day uh, here's a little nod to a cultural moment if you will uh, I don't know about you but I'm finding it pretty hard to be with musicians or fans of music anywhere and not talk about the relatively recently released uh, Beatles documentary get back which 
in my unsolicited opinion, is spectacular. I mean, you know, if you could find reasons to complain about it, like it's eight hours long, but it's pretty fun to watch, pretty interesting to watch, pretty beautiful to look at. And um, so I thought I would uh, have some fun with the title, title track of that uh, film, uh, Tune by the Beatles. Interestingly, I didn't know this. They uh, sort of started out as a protest song. Uh, they were reacting to some of the reactionary anti-immigration discussion that was happening around the UK at that moment. Uh, funny how some things never change. Telling, uh, telling people to get back where they came from as though, um, as though any of us has a, more of a right than anyone else, anyone else to be anywhere. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna try this. This is my loop out. You know, if your drink needs a top up, do that now before you, while, I, while I set things up. Thank you very much, as always, for tuning in. Uh, once I get a few parts laid down, this will be my version of Get Back. Oh, that's going the wrong way. That's kind of funny. That's what we wanted, a bass sound.
wishing you all the very best for 2022. Thank you so much for joining me yet again. Happy New Year. Best for surviving Omicron. Let's get through this thing together. Let's share the wealth. And make a better world together. All right. I miss you. I love you. I'll see you soon.